they take your photographs through people's windows, you know? Oh, Tim, stop banking on. You're worse than my mum. It's a window cleaner's code. I wasn't sent one. It's unwritten. Well, how am I supposed to learn it, then? Send. Send what? We'll send what where to? Look, this is my business. I've got a reputation to defend. So I'd be very interested to know what you're thinking. Well, when I'm not at the bench, it's Joan, please. Thank you, Joan. I'll have to get used to it now I've retired. Well, and as I was saying, I think this could be a really great investment. Uh... It seems very lively. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what are you playing at? Come on out! Oh, we're going to pay for it. Where's the lad that was serving here? I don't know, he just left. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 What's hey. going on? Where's Chesney? That's what I want to know. Is, uh, is everything all right? Yeah, look, uh, I'm sorry, Joan, but the manager seems to have abandoned his post. He's usually very reliable. No, look, it's my fault. I'm ten minutes late. So can I just uh, say sorry? Uh, so it's a waste of time, and uh, if you excuse me, there's somewhere I really need to be. Oh, don't mind me. Much more fun than the golf course. I'll help you get cleared up. Oh, it's very kind of you. I just need to... Keep breathing. You've got a bit more colour in your cheeks now. Hmm. Okay. Liberal pressure's fine. You had a panic attack. Are you sure it wasn't a heart attack? Positive. Dr. Gallas said your ECG came back clear. Panic attacks can be very frightening. You had one before? No. Where's Chesney? What? what? Well, he's abandoned the shop to a gang of marauding drunks. Oh, he won't do that. Yeah, Chesney! Hey, I'm not hiding him. Have you tried ringing him? Well, of course I have. He's not answering. <sighs> right, you're worrying me now. You're worried? My shop could have been burnt to the ground. <sighs> Wait, I'm coming with you. There you go. Thanks very Thank much. You. Yes, yeah, so anyway, I was thinking maybe I could come and stay with you for the weekend or something. But what, look a bit unprofessional, my girlfriend just rocking up. Well, no, I can just stay out of sight. I can sneak in and out of the hotel and surprise you when you least expect uh, it. Yeah, I'm not sure it's the kind of job where surprises are a good idea, babe. <sighs> Hiya, uh, what do you like? Oh, just the usual, red wine. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting, Summit? No, not at all. Shall we get a table late, just the two of us? Ah, oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary must have taken them to your flat. No, she's not at the flat, is she? She's here. Yeah, well, she wouldn't have known that. Get them flowers brought here, please, now. Right, Steve, blimey. What's the panic? Now, I've got my 12-week scan in 45 minutes. But you're not pregnant. No, I know, I'd forgotten I'd booked it. Now, Aidan's found the letter and he wants to come with me. Well, it's not going to show much, is it? Well, half a tuna sandwich and an Eccles cake. Which is why I wanted to ask you, please, can I borrow yours of Oliver? What? Well, it's just for now, and then I'll, I'll say I've lost it. No! No! That is one of the most precious things I have of Oliver. You have your head? Yeah, it's not like lending someone a pair of tights, is it? Wait, I'm desperate, please. <sighs> well, no, it's, it's got my name on it and the date and what you're going to do, tip exit all out. OK, OK. I've got some photographic paper in the back. We can print one off the internet. It'll take five minutes. Ah, <sighs> genius. You're both off your heads. Just cover the bar for me, will you, Lee? <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Just got to watch the bow sound for a minute. Mm. Hey, yeah. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was supposed to be phoning Mary. Find out about those flowers, eh? I need to find somebody quick. I cannot believe that Hottie got another job offer. Ugh. I'm not sure Billy would have been too happy with him bringing you morning coffee every day. <laughs> I guess it's always Rosie. <clears throat> Hello, Todd Grimshaw. Come on, let's go to the pub. Yeah, will you just, uh, hold on, Mrs. Banks? Yeah, cheers. You know that woman who came in yesterday? The one Rosie was interrogating? Your keen but dim mate only went and turned up at her house. Hello? Yeah. 
panic attacks are very serious, Chesney. I want you to remember what Rana said about stress. Oh, please don't tell anyone, will you? It's not surprising you had one, you know. Not considering all you've been through. Liz, just keep it to yourself, please. Of course I will. Now, do you want me to see you home? Uh, no, I'd best see if everything's all right at work. I kind of just legged it. I'm sure devil understand. Cheers. Also, don't you think with Bethany and everything? Hey, maybe I could see if she fancies it as well. Oh, yeah, city break could be just what she needs. Oh, hmm. oh go on then, let's have a look. You do know he's going to want to stick this on the front of his fridge for the next six months. Oh, I couldn't be doing with a random womb in my face every time I wanted milk. All right, all right, I've got to go. OK, good luck. Thanks. Good luck? She's about to show a stranger's fetus to a fiancé she hates. She's not going on school sports day. Well, he deserves it. <sighs> oh, about time. Was that directed at me, perchance? It was just that I ordered them. Yeah, I'm fully aware of when you ordered them. I made up your bouquet. As I have made up every bouquet for the last hour and a half, as well as being expected to do local deliveries on foot. While Northwest businesswoman here has been sat in the pub supping. Well, that's why you're employee of the month. Again. That worked once, it will not work again. You said you were coming back. Yeah, sorry, I got chatting. I will be invoicing you for overtime. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have flowers to deliver. <laughs> oh, no. Well, for me. Yeah, all right, you're not accepting an Oscar. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that's disgusting! Oh, sorry. Give <sighs> I didn't write this. I said to Tracy that the card should read, All My Love, Steve. Oh, so I spiced things up a bit. I'm not sure what part of the body that is. Oh, for goodness sake, Leanne. You're engaged. If a few dirty words on a card makes you react like that, well, especially a woman of your experience. Watch it, Tracy. Oh, well, I'm just saying. It's not a good sign, is it, Steve? Not only is he the father of your child, he is also a paying customer. I mean, what do you think you were doing? Oh, I'm sorry, Mum. Pornographic messages in our bouquets. I mean, what next? Tarantulas. Sorry about that. You know what she's like. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eat you like that. Yeah, it was a bit filthy. Well, even so. So now he wanders in. Where you been? What happened? You mean what happened? It was mayhem. It wasn't mayhem. Yeah, a gang of marauding drums. There they... were four of them. What happened, Chez? <sighs> Nothing happened. My shift finished, so I went home. No, you didn't, because I was at home. Yeah, I went for a pint. You mean went for a pint? The shop was unmanned. But you left your phone and everything. Well, everyone just get off my back. It was five o'clock. I finished my shift, so I went home. Look, it was my fault. I was late. Yeah, Kathy, all right. Now listen, don't just leave the shop. OK, a five-year-old child would know that, Chesney. Yeah. Well, considering how much you love playing the big man, maybe you should hire one. They might be impressed, cos I quit. Seriously, look, I don't want you getting into an accident or anything, do I? Where are you now? Look, can you get a move on, please? We're here, love. Oh, right. Look, yeah, all right, I'll see you later. Bye. Could have said something. Well, you were gassing on that phone for ages. I couldn't get a word in anyway. 980. Keep the change. 20p. Are you sure? Bye. Um, yeah, I'd like to report somebody for drink driving. Uh, well, you can't miss it, really. It's, it's a pink 4 before. Right, well, I'm going to take Jake for pizza. I want to spend as much time with him as possible before I go. OK. Um, feel free to pop around some after, you know. I'm done in about half an hour. OK, cool. All right. 
All right, Jed. Not really, but what can you do? All right, well, chin up, yeah? Got lots to be grateful for. Have I? Oh, there you go. Can I buy you a drink? Sinead sent you. Well, she asked me to find you. She's got something in the oven she had to check on. She's doing you a special tea. What for? Checked, is everything OK? She said you had some big row with Ev. Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, right, I'll get a drink then. I can still feel her, the evil cow. Eyes boring into the back of me. Oh, give over. She isn't even looking at you. I understand your jealousy, eh? Jealousy? What have I got to feel jealous about? Well, you and Steve have a very special bond, one which you and he have shared, and now he's had a child with someone else. Mary, and you're please. On the... Can we change the subject? Blimey. Why don't you go and get a love life of your own, eh? Instead of always banging on about mine. Hi. Mm. It still feels weird coming in here as a punter. What's up with this face? Tracy. That's what's up with this face. <sighs> she played a little trick on us. A very immature trick. She. Oh, a dirty message, putting in these lovely flowers. Made me feel very grubby. Very grubby. Steve, should we have a little chat out back? Hmm. Are they... Where are they going? Well, I hope they're going to be honest with each other. Baby, I am so sorry. I got stopped for drink driving at this time of day. Can you believe it? It's fine. I've been in. Here you go. Wow. Can't believe I missed it. It's the next one. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Did get that? I'll just put that on the back seat. Who are they for? It's my mum's birthday. That was the appointment I was talking about. I always put flowers on my mum's grave on her birthday. Never got there, though, thanks to the police stopping me. <laughs> hey, why didn't you say? Well, I know how soft you are, and I didn't want to upset you. Uh, besides, seeing this little one tucked up all inside you now makes today a happy one for once. My mum would have liked that. You shouldn't have spoken to our client, Rosie. Yeah, but she wasn't your client. You turned her down. Still, taking photos like that, come on. Yeah, but it's what Mrs Banks wanted. Proof that her husband was cheating. She should be chopped. She wasn't your client, Rosie. No, but Rosie thought we did the trick. Mrs Banks? Is that whose house we were at? She confronted her husband with the pictures. He broke down and came clean. They're going to try and start again. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, will, will somebody please tell me what's going on? Well, she'd have seen the divorce through. She could have been our client. OK. Hello, can anybody hear me? Love wins in the end, Tim. That's all you need to know. She sent us a fee. She was so grateful. We think we should split it with you. But for the record, I don't think you should be rewarded for breaking the law. For the record, he just doesn't want to split it with you. <laughs> but Adam reckons you've shown initiative today. All of it barking mad, but who are we to look a gift horse in the mouth? The job's yours if you want it. I knew watching every episode of Hawaii Five though would pay off. I'm finally in the crime game. No. No, you're in the answering the phones, making the tea game. <gasps> this is so exciting. Oh, I need to update my social media pronto. Um, Tim, you're gonna have to find yourself another window cleaner. I'm moving up in the world. Oh. Look, Steve. It's all right. You don't have to say anything. You know too. I hate it when Tracy's right. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it from Tori and Eva and all, but I think we both know this it's not really going anywhere, is it? No. <sighs> Could pretend we're still together then. You know, just as a wind up. 
say you're pregnant again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny as that sounds. I, I've just had a baby, so... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. And those kind of wind-ups are very time-consuming. <laughs> what? I can see why girls go for you, you know. Oh, really? And it's again! Why? Why? What is it? Is it my dashing good looks or is it my musky aura of masculinity? <laughs> no, it's because you're really funny. Oh, jeez. No, hey, don't knock it. Well, what kind of woman wants a bloke who's funny? Every single one of us. Even though it seems like Daddy's away for ages, I'll be back before you know it, OK? I want me a present. <laughs> I'll bring you loads of presents. And we can always talk on the computer, OK? Can I come with you? No, mate, you can't. I wish you could, but... Daddy's got to do this by himself. Jake. Harry's with his grandma upstairs and they're listening to some stories. Would you like to go? No! no. It's story or home. Uh, go on! Come on! There we go. I'm such a selfish cow. What, getting rid of Jake so you can have me all to yourself? Just using this job of yours like an opportunity for me to have a couple of days away. I've not even thought about how hard this is going to be for you, especially leaving Jake. Babe, if you need anything, ever, help with Harry or whatever, anything. I know Mum's a bit of a nightmare, but... Listen, it's fine. It's two weeks. I'll cope. Yeah. Come on. I love you so much. You know that, yeah? Of course I do, and I love you too. Good. Because I'm doing this for us. For all of us. I know that too. <laughs> but quitting your job, Chaz. Sinead left me. Got pregnant, I got stabbed. If that ain't a wake-up call that you're wasting your life, I don't know what is. What do you mean, wasting your life? I work in a kebab shop, Fizz. Uh, yeah, and I work in a knicker factory. Your job's not everything. Chaz, have you thought about making an appointment at the medical centre? You know, you might have post-traumatic what's it? I don't need to talk to anyone. Well, what about Sinead? Shouldn't you be talking to her? She's only with me out of pity. Chesney Brown! That girl loves you. Do you know the kind of effort she's making for you tonight? Honestly, I can't remember the last time anyone ever did that for me. And I know for a fact that she's got some special treats in store for you oh, later. Do you mind? You're my sister. What? Just go on to her, will you? Why don't you park this poor me routine just for tonight and see how you go? Who knows? You might even enjoy yourself. Where did Leanne go? Oh, Tracy, for goodness sake, you're like a woman obsessed. Why the long face, mate? Him and Leanne broke up. Oh, hallelujah. Don't know why you're so happy. Well, because I've done a good deed for the day. I've saved two people I care about, well, one person I sort of care about and another person I don't care about at all, from making a terrible mistake. Oh, yeah, you're just like the opposite of a relationship counsellor, aren't you? Mm, keep up the good work. Oh, I intend to. ta -ra. You might be good at looking into other people's hearts, but you're rubbish at looking at your own. What are you on about? Steve, as clear as day. You still have feelings for him. Show him, then. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh. Are you going to find out if it's a boy or a girl? It's about to be one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. We don't want to know. I'm just sorry you didn't get to put flowers on your mum's grave, babe. Yeah, we've got a healthy kid. That's all my mum would care about. <laughs> Aya. Oh, Aya, did, uh, did Fizz find you then? I would have come myself, but, well, I'm making chicken kebabs from scratch, aren't I? And they're really, really difficult. So you thought Fizz would be able to get through to a thick-headed brother better than you? Mm, maybe a bit. 
I'm sorry about before. Oh, I still can't believe you quit. I mean, I know Dev can be a pain sometimes, and, well, he does take advantage of you. I say it all the time, I but... just had enough. Everyone's always late for this shift. I just wanted to teach Dev a lesson. Hmm. Well, you go back, though, won't you? No. I'm sick of him taking me for granted. I'm sick of the job. I'll find something else tomorrow. Chairs. You know, this is... Is there anything wrong or anything else? Then you can... I'd tell you. So come on then. How about these homemade chicken Kievs? Oh, I hope they're nice. I'm sure they'll be mint. Does that mean it's do not disturb tonight? That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I'll fetch you a cat. If you think Sunny Spin seems like a good option right now, the Solana awaits this Friday night. In a few minutes, we're off to Benidorm for more fun in the sun. And over on ITV4 now, we're in Auckland, New Zealand, where the World Series of Darts continues.